guys, here it is. So I had a few of you ask me for kind of tips on what helps them sketch often. And one of my biggest tips is to create something super easy that you can just throw in a bag, doesn't take up much room, and it has everything that you need in it. You don't have to think about it. Um, so this is my travel kit. And what I do is I just add in whatever sketchbook I'm feeling like at the moment, which for me tends to rotate a lot. So this is the Lockby tool roll. Um, I am obsessed with these guys' products. Um, they have the coolest things. This is the tool roll. And then I also have their little pocket size for um, journal holder. I'm not sure what the technical term is, but I absolutely love, love their stuff. It's very durable and it holds exactly what I need. So let's open it up and get started. All right. So, I guess I'll just kind of work my way across here. So, as you can see, holds quite a bit, and it's like a kind of a nylon interior or something like that. Um, it's got this cool honeycomb pattern too, which I like. But it doesn't, if something leaked, which thankfully I haven't had a problem with that, it would hold up and clean, I'm sure, really well. But So, first thing, a uniball jelly roll. This is something that I feel like brings me back to my childhood, but I use it on my watercolors for highlights when I forget to leave them. I try to intentionally leave them, but you know, we're not perfect, so what do you do? Oh, and something that I carry with me, but is not necessarily, I don't use them that often, um, but they're the Pintel water brushes. And they're super convenient if you wanna like just throw something down onto paper. I just, Controlling water with these is kind of hard. It's a really fun tool because it just, you fill it up and you can, you know, squeeze it and the water comes out. Um, but something fun that I've recently done that I've seen other people do is I actually fill one of these with ink. So I have um, the ink that I use in my pens, the Noodler's ink, the black waterproof. Um, I put it in here and it it's been really fun to see kind of what I can create with it. Here, I'll show you. So I used it for like blocking in some of the, um, I was sketching on location at one of my favorite coffee shops and it's just kind of fun. So those are my Pinto water brushes. And let's see, my next item is actually, this was gifted to me. A few of these items were, um, so this is the, um, Zebra graphics pen. And I really like this for sketching. Um, I don't have any special lead or anything in it, um, just a 0.5, but it's cool though, cause you can actually turn, I don't know if you can see that, to see what type of lead you do have in it. Um, but I like it cause I don't have to sharpen it and I don't have to carry a sharpener with me. Um, and it does have a little eraser, which I don't actually use, but it does have it if you need it. And then this is cool. This, um, my brother-in-law told me to get one of these because he likes to sketch too. And it's just, I want to say it's an engineer or an architect's um, ruler. And it's got a lot of different types of measurement on it. But I love how tiny it is. And it's really great because it's good to draw on the edge because it is triangular, which I think is super fun. And it's tiny, so it fits really well. Okay, so over here I have a little mister bottle. Um, this was actually a hand sanitizer, um, like a free thing I got, but I cleaned it out and I use it as a little water mister for when I want to re-wet my paper or I often wet my palette first too. And then this is the Lamy. I have a Lamy Safari. I don't remember what the other ones were, but they're a little bit nicer. They're metal. The Safari is plastic, but each of these has different, um, inks in it. So this is just one of their cartridges, um, the Lamy cartridges in it. And then this one has Noodler's ink in it. And this is, I don't remember the name, but this is a brown ink and it's also waterproof. I love the Noodler's inks. And this one's like an extra fine tip. I want to say this one's a medium. And this one I believe is a fine. And this one has the black in it. So I have a black permanent 
a brown permanent and then a black that is water soluble. So what I actually do with the water soluble one is I'll put it on the paper and then I'll take my Pentel brush and wet it and it'll like loosen it up and it's really fun to create shading and different shadows and whatnot. Let's see, I actually have some kind of their very crazy rough sketches, but I can show you what I mean by that. So like I can drag kind of some of the ink around and play with it. So just kind of fun. So that's these guys. And then over here, some, so this is just washi tape and I use it when I'm on the go to sometimes tape the edges of um, my painting so it's nice and clean because I do occasionally like that really just clean edge. Um, I think it looks really nice and I don't know, it just makes me feel like even if it's not a great piece of art, it looks better. I don't know, it makes me feel good about my art. And then I have some of these, I want to say they're called bulldog clips, but to hold my paper down if it's windy or if I'm putting a lot of water on my sketchbook, I like actually put these around the edge and it keeps it, once it dries, it will dry flatter instead of being quite so warped. And then these are both travel brushes. I have a third one, but I left it at my friend's house, so you'll have to just see these. So they go in like that. This is um, a set that I got for my birthday, so I don't know, I don't remember the brand of this one, but I have three different sizes in the round that I got. And this is actually, you can see, this is actually a decent size brush to hold once you add that on. Um, and then, and they have a little hole in the bottom, so they actually dry. And then this one I just got from Rosemary and Co. And I freaking love these brushes. Um, this one is um, an oval, but look how pretty that is. It's got this wonderful fine tip and it holds so much water. I've just got these and I am, I've got one more that's um, a triangular shape, but it, it they're so much fun. So much, I'm gonna re-wet that so I don't mess up the point. And then, this is very funny because when I pull this out, it makes people, I think, think that I'm like an alcoholic or something because it's actually, it's a shot glass. So I use this to hold my water. I can actually like clip it to my notebook or a board or something if it's windy, um, but it just collapses like that. And I actually keep a kneaded eraser in here. Um, that's why I don't use that eraser, so I keep that with me. But these, I just, I use one for clean water and one for dirty water. And then I wipe it out when I'm done and close it out. And if I think about it, when I get home, a lot of times I'll, well, it does go together. I'll open them back up just so I know I'm not getting any kind of mold or anything in there. Something to think about with a water clip because you use so much water. And last but not least... We have my adorable little tiny palette. Like, look how cute it is. To give you an idea, this is my like studio palette, like the one I keep on my art desk. So it is pretty tiny. This one, you can see those are all the colors I have for this one. And then, and this is my little baby palette. So, if you don't make little swatch cards, um, I have my names of them on the back. If you don't do this, I really recommend it just because your colors do change as they dry. Um, and then also in your palette, a lot of times it's hard to tell, especially in the darker tones, like what, I mean, look how bright these are and like you can hardly tell what they are. So, um, so this actually came with a little tray in it. Um, but I found if you took out the tray and attached magnets to the bottom of the individual little containers, you can get four more colors in here, so why not? Um, and these, this cute little palette actually came with this little bag and a bunch, I wanna say like 50 different size pans that you can put them in, little and big pans, so that's really cool. Um, but I love this little guy. I, I like having a metal palette because I just feel like mixing is better than a plastic one. I don't know, that might just be a personal, personal preference, but and this is kind of my narrowed down colors that are my favorite. So that's my cute little palette. And I um, I will try to link everything down below too so that you guys can order these or look them up if you would like to do that. I found this little 
plastic flask on Amazon and like this part will actually come off too. And I haven't had a problem with it leaking and it's super cute and it fits in a bag easily because it's narrow. But anyway, so I do that. Um, and all of my colors that are in this came in tubes. So I just pick the colors that I like and I squeeze them out. I let them dry and that way I always have, I just like the tubes because to me, they, I don't know, they re-wet easily as well as, I feel like you get more colors. But. Also, quick sidebar, the colors that are in here um, are all either Daniel Smith or Schmincke um, colors. And these, I haven't tried a lot of the artist quality, quality brands, um, but I really love both of these. Um, I love how well the Schmincke Rewet and I love how the Daniel Smith has some really just fun combos and some gorgeous vibrant colors. Um, but everything in here are either one of these. So just so you know that. Let's see. So different sketchbooks that I bring with me. Um, so this one, this is like my, I don't care what it looks like, throw things down sketchbook. So this is a tone paper sketchbook. Um, it's very, I just sketch different things. I love using like white, the white gel pen with it. Um, and I've even done colored pencil on it, which is really fun. Um, so like I said, some of it's terrible, but I, I like using this guy. This is a Strathmore 400 series. Um, it's a toned, a toned paper. So I like that. And then you've heard me talk about the Stillman and Burn. I've owned three of these so far. Um, this is the landscape that I've been working with. Um, and it's kind of like a four by seven or something like that. And this is like an eight by 10 size. And I really, really love these. They're more mixed media. So layering watercolor can get a little tricky, but I really like these a lot. Um, I actually happen to have one that isn't open yet because I got one for my friend, um, ordered one for her. So they are my favorite. I get the beta series. So um, that basically means that they're white paper and they're thicker paper because um, they have a bunch of different options. So that's those. But like I said, I'm a bit of a sketchbook junkie. I don't just have one at a time. So I also have this. This one I don't use as much, but this is a travelogue um, and it's more of a watercolor journal. Um, the pages are a little thinner than the Stillman and Burn ones, um, but it's also, it's really pretty. It holds color really pretty, I think. Um, I also, these are all things that will just fit like in my purse or backpack. Um, I'll take this tiny little um, 7 by 10 inch Arches color block, uh, watercolor block, and I don't know. I just, I like sometimes making a finished piece when I'm out on location, so... Yep. I also wanted to show you this. So this is kind of my, like, if I want something super tiny, I throw this in and my little kit. Um, sometimes I'll even just put one of the pins in here if I want it super minimal. Um, I have a field notes in the front, but I said I had three still minimal burn. I actually have four because, you know, your girl can't get enough. This is the alpha series. So this is a thinner page, but it actually really holds watercolor decently. Like, it's kind of, it kind of works. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of, that's this little guy. So another Lockby product, but I, I don't know. I just love, love how cute and tiny it is. And I love the texture of this. So, so I think that's it guys. And keep in mind, your kit will probably look entirely different from my kit. That's kind of the awesome thing about artists. We each have our own thing that we feel works for us. And I hope you go out and make lots of sketches and create a daily sketching habit because it is one of my favorite ways to document life. And it's just very therapeutic. So I highly encourage this, throw it in your purse, throw it in your backpack and go. Make sure to like and follow if you get a chance and I'll see you guys next time.